Hello, everyone. This is David Pender Jr., Executive Vice President with My Econ, back just like I said I would. We're going to talk today a little about identity theft. Uh, as I said in my previous video, uh, there are more than one type of identity theft. Actually, there are five types of identity theft. Uh, the most popular is financial identity theft. That's the one most people are familiar with. Uh, financial identity theft is simply someone uh, that gets some credit in your name. Um, they could purchase a, a, a home. Uh, you could be living in, in Maryland and someone down in Florida purchases a home in your name. Uh, you may later on go and try to purchase a home there in Maryland and find out someone in Florida has already purchased a home in your name. And you won't find out about it until after you start doing your paperwork and you find out uh, someone has purchased a home in your name. Uh, one of the things, another thing about this one is a lot of people don't understand. Once your identity is stolen, it's not only stolen by one person. What they actually do is they actually sell your identity to other people. So you may have 10, 15, 20 25 people that have your identity that are going out there and making purchases and getting credit in your name. So the best thing to do is to keep up with your, keep up with your identity and uh, have a, a some, a some way to monitor uh, your identity and, at all times. Uh, the next type of identity theft I like to speak about is, it's going to be a real short one, it's Social Security identity theft. Uh, that simply is someone uses your Social Security number and they want to go out and start a business and they use a social security number and they have taxes that they don't pay. Now, when you go get your taxes done, you think you're going to get a refund and actually you're going to owe because that person used your identity and didn't pay the taxes on their business. So now you're stuck paying with those taxes unless you have a way to clear yourself uh, of that situation. The next one is, is kind of popular. Um, it's DMV, uh, identity theft. Uh, that one's kind of tricky. Um, the reason why that is is because a driver's license is a standard identification card, which means if they get your identity and you and get a driver's license in your name, it makes it easier for them to go and get something else. Get a credit card. Uh, get medical insurance, which we're going to talk about next. Um, so once they get your driver's license, they can use your driver's license to get a number of different things, and you won't even know it. Uh, one thing I want to also say about the driver's license, um, let's say, for instance, that someone has uh, gotten a driver's license under your name, and they get a DUI or they're in an accident and they give the police your name, okay, they don't show up to court. The warrant is going to be for you, not them. The warrant is going to be for you. So you may be going through a routine uh, traffic stop or routine um, license check and they run your name and they come back that you have a warrant for a DUI that someone else got in your name. Now, they're not going to let you explain it right there. They're not going to do that. They're going to handcuff you, put you in the car, and you're going to the police station, and then they'll figure out there. So the best thing to do is to have some kind of identity theft protection now so you can have someone that's working on that on your behalf if something like that were to happen. The next type I'd like to talk about is medical identity theft. Now, this is the one that a lot of people really don't know about, because it's not, it's not talked about enough. Medical identity theft, to me, could be one of the worst ones. One of the reasons is, is because if someone goes out and gets some health insurance in your name, they have a medical condition that you don't have. An emergency arises, they need medical attention. I mean, they, the emergency uh, arises and you need medical attention. Well, if that person has compromised your identity, they may give you some medication that you're allergic to, which could be fatal. And that, that, that to me is why I say